Hey guys, Coach Lisa here, owner of Challenge You Softball, located in Westwood, New Jersey. Today I want to give you guys a drill to help slappers keep that crossover step inside the zone. Now, too often slappers think that they're supposed to run out while they're making contact. But it's so important that at contact, the player's heel is to the pitcher. Now I'm going to show you the right side view so you can really, really see what I'm talking about and mirror it when you're at home. Now, this drill is meant to be done by yourself. Practicing and training by yourself is really what separates the average to the champions. So, all you need is a tee, a cone, if you don't have a cone, even a bucket, and a bucket of softballs. If you really don't like to go down to reach far for that bucket of soft, for that ball out of the bucket, put it on the other bucket. It's very easy to practice at home. So I really want you guys to step it up and make sure that you work at least three times a week, three, four times a week. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna work on keeping that first step inside the zone. Now, to show you what a lot of players do, I want you to watch my back foot. The first step that a lot of players do is they open up, and that's where they go wrong. That's a pitcher's dream, because they could put that ball anywhere in the zone, because they're already opening up and most likely they're casting their hands. It's kind of impossible to keep yourself in the zone when your front foot's already opened up, all right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna have your cone set up and you're gonna really, really work to bring that heel to the pitcher as you're crossing that foot over. Now, make sure your front shoulder obviously is tucked in, your hands are close to your body. Here's the mirrored righty version so you can practice and copy me at home. Step one, step two. And just lock that in right here. Make sure your heel is locked in at all times and you're going to step on contact. I know it's a little hard because of your momentum, but as long as we see the right form and the right movement with this step, it's going to help us a lot. For those that don't have a comb, grab a bucket. Put your bucket here and as you're crossing, you want to feel that pop. You want to feel that kick happening. Hitting that bucket, you're close. Step one, step two and we're working to get that heel to the pitcher, making sure everything's in the zone. One more time, one, two, and making sure we're bringing our heel to the pitcher versus our heel coming out. It's very hard to have your shoulder down and in and your hands inside close to your body when your foot is already taking you in this direction. Unfortunately, we can't cut our body into two, so we have to make sure that this is all lined up and happening. So again, we're one, two. Heel to the pitch. For more information and more videos, check out ChallengeYouSoftball.com or ChallengeYouSoftball1 on YouTube. Thanks a lot, guys. Practice. Ciao.